This video is brought to you by, Kittle. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we embark on an exciting journey to create a family crest logo for a fictional client. And our client today is, a werewolf, Mr. Archibald Lancaster, a distinguished figure with a lineage steeped in supernatural heritage has reached out to me. As a proud member of the Lancasters family, a lineage of disciplined werewolves, he seeks a crest that embodies their harmonious existence between humanity and their inner wolf. The Lancaster crest should evoke strength, control, and a sense of ancient wisdom. To make this design happen today we will use Kittle, the go-to design platform for brands and creators. Create eye-catching graphics effortlessly with advanced features like real-time text transformation, magic recoloring, and innovative texture clipping. Enjoy unlimited access to illustrations, fonts, photos, icons, and more. Choose from a vast collection of professionally designed templates to customize in just a few clicks. Kittle streamlines your workflow making design a breeze with its powerful and intuitive tools. Click the link in the description and you can sign up for free and join me in this tutorial for an immersive design experience. Or you can opt for a premium plan and enjoy an exclusive 50% discount on your first month. Don't forget to apply the coupon code ASHRAF for extra savings. Click on new project. Here you can customize your document. And here you can find standard presets, and these are presets specific to print-on-demand designs. I will go with this setting, click on create. In this menu you will find everything you need, here you can find all the pre-made templates, and from this panel you can upload your own designs or graphic elements. Here you can find ready-made type lockups templates or you can add your custom text. And in this panel you will find any shape or graphic element you want to include in your design. And here you can apply any texture to add some depth to your design. And this is the Kittle AI image and logo generator. To start click on the canvas, and this window will pop up. I'll change the background color to black. Now I need to find a good shield shape to incorporate, let's go to elements. And scroll down to badges, and I will go with this one. I make it a little bit bigger, it is a vector graphic so you can edit it easily. As I am doing a monochrome design, I will change this color to white. And this one to black. This one too I will change it to black. From here I align the shield to the center. To add a wolf head, I will make a quick search, scrolling down to find the right one. This one looks cool, but it's not a vector. I remove it, and I will go with this one. I resize it to fit the shield. Then I change this yellowish color to white, and this darker gray to black. I make it a little smaller, then like in Illustrator, hold Alt and drag it to the right to duplicate it. Right click and make a horizontal flip. Drag it a little more to the right, hold Shift and select the other wolf, then right click and group them and then align them to the center. Now I will search for a symmetric wolf face to put it in the middle. I'll try this one. Nope, I don't like it. I will go and search for a skull motif. The skull serves as a reminder of the transient nature of life, emphasizing the Lancaster family's acknowledgement of their dual existence as both mortal and supernatural beings. I will choose this one. I put it in the middle, then I shrink it down, then I change this to white, and this gray to black, and make sure to align it to center. Now I am going to add a sword design. The sword represents the Lancaster family's role as guardians of their werewolf legacy and protectors of both the mortal and supernatural realms. I select these crossed swords. 
Then I change this color to black, and all the other colors to white. Make it bigger, then put it in the middle, and then from here, hold shift and rotate it by 180 degrees. Make it a little bigger, right click and send it to back. Then I drag it up and down until I find the right position. Now I select the shield, and from here, I will add a drop shadow. I adjust the offset, and then I change its color to pure black. The next element to add is a barbed wire. Barbed wire represents intricate control and restraint. The family's mastery over their werewolf abilities. I search for barbed wire. I select this circular wire, change its color to white, then put it in the middle and shrink it down, then right click and click on backward. I do it again so it moves behind the skull and the two wolves. Now to write the family name, I need a banner, I go to elements. Then scroll down to Banners. I'll try this one, and I will compare it to another one. Okay, I think this one looks good. I get rid of this one. Then I drag this one here. Change this color to black, and this one to black too and this color I change it to white, make sure to align it to center. Then I drag it up here, and holding shift, I select all these elements together. Then I drag it down here, and I shrink it down a little bit. Now drag the banner down here, scale it down, then align it to the center, and then align it with the shield. I select the skull along with the two wolves, right click and I bring them to front. To write the family name, go to the text panel, and click on add headline. Drag it on top of the banner, then double click and write the family name, Lancasters. From here I can change the used font. This font collection has some of the best fonts you can find online. From a classic sans serif font to handwriting to modern or futuristic styles. I will choose this one, Brookfield. From here you can transform it freely by moving these handles. Or you can just choose one of the transformation presets. As our banner is rounded, I choose the circle transformation. Then I drag this point to make it wider. Align it to the center, then increase the tracking, and a little bit the font size. To add a special look to the type, go to effects, and select this 3D shadow option. Now I change the shading color to black, and I change the text color to white. I adjusted it a little bit, and put it here, go to elements, and scroll down to these simple components, scroll down and choose this one, scale it up, then change this color to black, and this one to white. I think this one too I will change it to black. From here, hold shift and rotate it. Then shrink down and align it with the shield. Right click and send it to back. I make it smaller. And align it to the center. Now I go to the text panel. And click on add headline change the text color to white, then drag it down here, double click and I will write the family motto, lupus in nobis, nobis in lupus, which means, 
the wolf within us, us within the wolf, I stretch it like this. Then I choose a thinner font like this one, a louder. Now select the circle transformation option, drag it up here, and to invert the direction of the type, activate this slider button. Then I drag this circle down. Then I adjust the size and the tracking of the font to fit the circular banner. Now I want to add a rose, I make a search. Then I scroll down to find the right one, I think this one will fit the look and feel of our crest. The rose represents the coexistence of beauty and strength, mirroring the family's ability to balance their human and werewolf aspects. I shrink it down, then I put it here. Then I make sure to align it to the center. Now that all the primary crest elements are established, I will embellish it with additional decorative elements. I search for flame. Then scroll down to find a simple one. And that's it. Change its color to white. Shrink it down. Then align it with the shield. Hold Alt and drag it to the left. Then right click and make a horizontal flip. Then align it. Hold Alt and drag it down. Then rotate it and align it with the sword. Hold Alt and drag it to the right. Then flip it. Select these two flame icons, then right click and group them. Then align them to the center. Then do the same thing to the other flames. Ok, I think I need to make these flame icons smaller. Then I go to elements, then I head to ornaments. And I scroll down to Victorian. I chose this one. Then I change the color to white. Then I put it here. Then I continue filling the crest with decorative elements. Now to give the design more depth, and to separate the skull from the wolves, I select the skull. Then I select this shadow option, then I set the angle to 90 degree. Then I increase the offset value a little bit. Then I increase the blur value. After finalizing the design, I will apply a gritty texture to add a special effect that imparts a raw and textured aesthetic to the overall composition. Go to textures, then select this grungy one, as our design is white, I will change the color mode to multiply. You can change the texture by just clicking on any one you like. I'll go back to this texture, and that's it. As we conclude our design journey. I encourage you to join in, design your own emblem and share it using the hashtag, Madash for my personalized feedback. Hit like, share with fellow creatives, and subscribe for more inspiration. Keep creating, and until next time.